You're listening to the Incomparables Total Party Kill podcast, in which a group of friends play Dungeons and Dragons on the internet for your amusement. This is episode number 384, Dog and Pony Show Season 6, Episode 7, recorded March 2022, posted February 2023. It stares all the way down. Welcome back to Total Party Kill. It's me, Tony Sindelar, a dungeon master. He, him. Today, we are back in Ravenloft. We are continuing the dog and pony adventures. We are playing Curse of Strahd. They have finally made it all the way across Little Barovia, Big Barovia, several other towns and horrible places to Castle Ravenloft, the home of one Strahd von Zarovich himself. And they're about to fight a suit of Strahd's animated, 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 like I say the word anime, it's from, it's which from Japan, apparently yes. also, also have been saying wrong for 25 years. Uh, anyway, we're playing Dungeons and Dragons, people. Um, let me introduce our players. If I had been smart, I would have had them roll initiative. I have not. Um, so first up, uh, it's Micah Sargent. <gasps> Welcome back, Micah. Oh, my word. I just hit my desk, which <laughs> shook my camera. I promise there's not currently an earthquake here, although, knock on wood. Oh, no, if I knock on the wood, my camera shakes again. Anyway, <laughs> I'm Micah Sargent. Yes, you've already said that. I play Elevor Landman, the half-elf druid. Uh, he and I both have he, him pronouns, uh, but we also are joined by Samus, the saber-toothed tiger, and... Um, currently resting uh though perhaps will make an appearance again soon is my new friend um whose name for some reason i always forget danu there we go uh yes. a, an ethereal octopus uh so yeah lots of characters uh both danu and samus use she her pronouns Next up, Aline Sims. Welcome back, Aline. We just played Dungeons & Dragons like 48 hours ago. <laughs> but now I get to play Imra Soliana, the Wood Elf Ranger, and her trusty pupper, Androdite. We all use she or her pronouns. Also, also joining us, Erica Ensign. Hello, hello. Yes, I play Brildish, the Dwarven Paladin, and her pronouns, like mine, are she, her. And Brildish also has a pretty sweet celestial pony named Pony Sindelart, whose pronouns are he, him. Also, 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 also joining us, it's Jane Ritt. Hi, Tony. I'm playing Hi. Lena Dulina, the human rogue. Both of our pronouns are she, her. And last but not least... Sticking with that, it's Dan Warren. Uh, I'm no, noted, not you. Yeah, I'm rising I'm, agent, are you? I'm ready to play, everyone. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh. Tony, I have an important question. I can't find my mm. token. Did Crucible fall off the parapet? <sighs> Just quick question. Anyways, I'll introduce myself. I'm Dan Morin. I'm playing Captain Onatar's Crucible Warforged Cleric of the God Onatar. I use he, him pronouns. Crucible uses they, them pronouns. And they are missing in action correctly. <laughs> <laughs> or they're just somewhere on the map that I don't remember where I put them. That seems odd. Maybe someone's sitting on them. I feel like we were all together. together. I checked under Samus and Elevore. <laughs> okay, <laughs> good. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. I thought it may be, maybe that had happened. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Crucible's there back in giant. Crucible's huge. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, let me just check. So I have placed all of your tokens, I think, and I think I've added you to the initiative order. Possibly you are already in the initiative order, but these are old initiatives. Uh huh. I'm, I'm rolling into so now, now. now we're all in there twice. Yep. Yep. See, now it's bad. Now you know it's <laughs> okay. All right. There we go. Uh, I do, are is everybody with your group? All your hanger ons and. Tony, I want to take pity on you and say that Pony should probably just go on Brildish's uh, initiative simply because Brildish is riding Pony. So mm -hmm. it doesn't make sense to go on separate Crucible so if you does want to not have pony. any pets, but they are in the initiative order twice. So I just assume they get to go twice. <laughs> um, Aragal is going to uh, very bravely keep watch on our flank. So and maybe maybe Aragal could keep watch over Vasilka as well. That sounds like yes, a plan. Yes, yes. So, so they're going to be out in the, I guess, spooky turret uh, with a huge pulsating uh, arcane heart in it. Safest place to be. <laughs> Safest place. I 100,000% appreciate that. You're welcome. We may reevaluate. Uh, right. 
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, we can always pull I, him I'm in not if worried we need about to. It the right. I think, mm-hmm. you know, I think I probably said this before, but, you know, Ravenloft is basically a series of minor indignities. Uh, unfortunately, it's a very long series. So I don't think, you know, I, I, you know, you, probably it would be great if, uh, if, if, if uh, Vasilika and Aragal joined the fight against one Strad von Zarevich. But you're fighting Strad von Zarevich's pants. Um, you don't need him right now. <laughs> And his um, top. So, you're right. It's a strawberry I, I ding dong, a, people. It's a strawberry in a, in a ding dong. So to remind you, last time on Total Party Kill, you did help uh, a a surly teen escape from the clutches of a vampire and possibly return to her mom, at least go somewhere other than this castle. She spider walked down the side of Castle Ravenloft. Uh, but as you were standing on the battlements, watching her head off into safety, a strange uh, kind of suit of armor kind of lurched around the corner on the battlements and approached you. I believe I've already shown you art of this, but this is basically kind of a haunted possessed suit of armor. It lacks any kind of headpiece, uh, and there's just kind of weird kind of ethereal ghostly kind of spirits uh, wisping out of the uh, the top of the torso. Um, it's metal armor, but it's got like a red tint and a lot of gold uh, or yellowy kinds of uh, uh, detail work on it and the ca- the castle ravenloft or ravenloft family crest is emblazoned prominently on its chest um and in our combat order it will be imra and then strad's animated armor Strawberry and then some other people if they're still alive um so imra you get to go before i'm not going to use those words erica those are your words um but before this horrible uh mechanical mechanical that's a construct <gasps> is it mechanical this, let's debate well i don't think it has moving parts i don't think it meets the definition of because if we could just like pour um, water on it and then, then it goes this all horrible on headless us. A- animated suit of plate armor oh, oh, destroys you <laughs> yeah, i hope it's not squeaky because sure that's just annoying right mess up the statue <laughs> not menacing just annoying <laughs> <laughs> It's adding okay. an oral need, insult to yeah. literal injury. Do you need us to, to look at that? Do you need us to just like squeak <laughs> oil? <laughs> spritz. Would you? Spritz. <laughs> nah, bro. Wow, I'm enjoying this one one person play by Dan Moore, and please continue. <laughs> I just in my head it ended with us befriending the suit of animated armor <laughs> by giving it some oil and deciding Can we add these it to guys our party? aren't so bad. Yeah. I'm here for Tony's it. Tony's definitely going to give us more tokens to move around yep. for sure. I My goal is to amass all the tokens. For it. We're already way off of the number of tokens that the adventure prescribed. You think there was an octopus token in this book? <laughs> 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 so so I, I can't help but okay. notice that Strahd appears to be going first. Uh, he's going after it. Ah, okay. Right? Yeah. You can't can help but that. notice that. I can. I like this much better. So uh, the suit of armor is basically, de- it's kind of a straight shot down the battlements from you. It looks like, depending on where you are in the battlements, it's 60 to 70 feet away from you. It has kind of turned a corner there. Uh, uh, but yeah, Imra, it seems aware of your presence, though it has no eyes with which to make eye contact with you. Yeah, um, so I've just been debating if I should um, use a spell slot on it. Because I do think animate a suit of armor seems like it's going to have a high AC and mm. maybe it is made of armor. Yeah, maybe um, you know, a lot of hit points. So I'm wondering if I can do a little bit of extra damage. Um, and I think I'm going to mark it as my query with my hunter's mark. And then I'm going to aim at it with an arrow. Uh, first is a 24 to hit. A 24 will hit the animated suit of armor. Uh, second is a 17. 17 will not hit an animated Eep. suit of armor. Ah, okay. Well, I get one. Now D8. we find out if. Uh, wait, is this magical? Is your, it is is your bow magical? It is not. Okay, now we get to find out if we need magic weapons to hit it. Yeah, please, one no, please, no, please, no. 
plus four Everyone damage. Everyone take an axe. <laughs> axe caddy. <laughs> Uh, 1d8 plus 4 damage is 8 plus my 1d6 for my Hunter's Mark at the first level is 5. So that's 13 points of damage. Do I feel like I did 13 points of damage? You do. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, and I don't, I'm, I don't feel like I'm in anybody's way. So I think I'm going to stay right where I am. Um, and just in case people didn't hear it coming, I'm going to say, hey, there's there's like a strawberry ding dong looking thing coming. <laughs> Ooh, an STD. Please say that again, but <laughs> loose, just enunciate. Yeah, enunciate. <laughs> enunciate, Erica. <laughs> um, all right. Uh, well, Strahd's animated suit of armor is next if you're all set, Emra. I am. All right, Strahd's animated suit of armor is moving kind of herky-jerky down the uh, the the uh, platform at you. Um, and it is going to... It does not seem like it can probably close with all of you, uh, but it does... There, there, something kind of crackles at the end of one of its arms in its kind of segmented metal gauntlet. And it is going to fire a shocking bolt uh, into the crowd. That's surprising. Uh oh yeah. Shocking. Uh, shocking Bolt has advantage against characters who are wearing armor made of metal, or I would suspect made of metal. Don't know any of those. Crucible. Yeah. Uh, well, if that applies, shocking bolt. Um, this is going to come back around. Yeah. Shocking Bolt uh, wings your way uh, a 23 with advantage. Um, Woof. I, I, mean? I think that hits. Yeah. Oh man. Uh, my AC is twenty-two. Uh, you will. Is it? Wow. Yeah, it is. That's not enough. Made of uh, metal. You will take this time. Not great. <laughs> yeah, thirteen lightning damage. I don't know if that matters. Um, yeah, I'm super. I'm supercharged now. Form. <laughs> oh, is that supercharged to death? <laughs> um, no, just like he's gonna. The uh, animated armor has multi attack, so it's going to fire another shocking bolt question is do i want to attack crucible again or broldis it's gonna go for crucible for some reason well you know lightning rolled... nightling does hit a lightning rod it's just mm. that's how physics works i have not rolled a 22 on my second attack so i have missed uh lena you are next followed by samus and other people can see where they are in the order get ready Okay. Um, are these squares? What is the distance of these squares? I think they're five foot squares, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. They should be five feet. Yeah. Um, okay. Lena is going to assume that her friends will close <laughs> with the animated armor. So she wants to be in a position to attack with melee. Mm -hmm. Next action. And with, so you head down the battlements in its direction. Yep. Uh, with her hand crossbow, going that's a 22 to hit. Uh, a 22 will hit an animated suit of armor, or specifically this animated suit of armor. Okay, um, so that is 5, no, 10 piercing damage. Ugh. I imagine like a pauldron falls off of it and clatters to the ground or something. Oh, nice. I, um, I don't know what a pauldron is, but I know it's armor related people. <laughs> 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 I'm I'm an honest dungeon master. I I am let us let me share my deficiencies with you. Yeah. Uh Lena. <laughs> uh let's see. I can so with my can I dash with my cunning action? Yes. Um Elevor does whisper to the group, um, try if you can help it. Try not to get super close to it because there are things mm. I could do. Um, but okay. if you need to, then I can change, you know, my plan. No, I, I can plant it right here. Um, mm. So Lena just runs about halfway towards it, wings it with a crossbow, and then gives it some space. All right. Uh, lightning crashes in the background. The suit of armor is all backlit and scary looking. Ooh, fun. S saw this. Uh, Samus is going to ready an attack of a bite uh, should the animated suit of armor cross the area where Lena is right now. Okay. 
Does Samus need to get up to that area? Um, S- Samus is going to move here because... Uh, no, 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 no. Here, because then um, if I do make that hit, if Samus does make that hit, then you get like an extra pounce because of the running up to it. All right, so Samus rushes forward, takes up kind of a defensive stance next to Breldish, is ready to take a bite out of this not very tasty looking metal monstrosity. But it's strawberry. Uh, what what crucible. what is what is a strawberry? We only have bitter berries here in my yeah. homeland. Oh, wow! Is it a berry it's made of straw? That sounds right. <laughs> oh. oh, we do have those. Oh, we do have those. It's a different name, but yes, most of them do taste like straw. Ah, oh, Barovia. <laughs> Brilish is just like lost uh, in we, thought oh, about a mind. strawberry I was say we need to shortcake. Have a, um, an anthem, but I remember that there is already an anthem for this. <laughs> At least. Um, Crucible. All right. So I'm going to need a ruling from you on this one, Tony. <laughs> love it. I love it already. Yep. <laughs> Heat metal. Choo- well played, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> well played. Uh, choose a meta- manufactured metal object such as a metal weapon or a suit of heavier medium metal armor that you can see within range. You cause the object Check. to glow red hot. Any creature in physical contact with the object takes fire damage when you cast the spell. Hmm. I will tell you, uh, I don't think I don't think that the animated armor is. I mean, there's no creature in contact. Are you, are you asking the creature. animated armor? But it, are are you asking? Are we in contact with ourselves? Yes. Deep. I think it depends how much has, how much work you've has done. Has the strawberry ding dong gone to therapy? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what I'm getting at. Uh, I would say that everything about this suggests that this is a person or a creature that has. A lot of work left to do. A lot of... Okay, so I cannot use heat metal on this, is what you're telling me. Uh, I'm telling you, you can do heat metal. It's just not going to do what you want it to do. I'm a dungeon master. The answer is you can do that. It's just not going to have I, any I would like to. Can I, can I... Given that you electrocuted me with advantage, uh, can I mm. uh, lodge a protest <laughs> with the dungeon master's council? Uh, I thought you were going to electrocute it back, is what I was preparing. I, I don't do that. I melt things. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, let me reconsider then, mm-hmm. because now we are far away. Okay, let's do a. Let me hit with a guiding bolt. Uh, at fourth level, cast that sucker. Uh, that is a a rather lackluster sixteen. Your guiding bolt bounces off the mighty walls of Castle Ravenloft and into the night, never to be seen again. Disappointing. Uh, does anybody currently need healing? I mean, I guess from other than me. You? You? <laughs> <Yeah>. you? <laughs> you there, Sparky? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, ouch. All right. I will. Hmm. Can't do that on this turn because that was a spell. Uh, I will use my bonus action to sit and think about what I've done. Mm. 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 Shouldn't take too long. Uh, <laughs> pr- pr- Broldish. All right, so Elevor... Followed by Elevor. Yeah, uh, so Elevor requested Broldish not get too close. Within Correct. five feet. Okay, well, I mean... I, uh, I know, it's hard for Most Broldish. of my melee attacks are... Or, I mean, most of my attacks are just melee you attacks. You, 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 you could yeah. potentially hold your but, action until after Elevor. That's true. Uh, and just let that, Elevor go first. I, I'm good with that. If that's if that's cool, Dungeon Master Tony, do it. Elevor, right. go. Uh, Elevor, could you, Elevor, <laughs> Tony, could you please describe um, the environment right now? I just am I'm curious, sort of about. You are on a. I, I imagine it's kind of a rain slick castle. Uh, uh, battlements here. There's all kinds of crenellations. This is how many castle words can Tony use in one description? Slick? What are, are, are yeah. we working with? Like cumulonimbus clouds above us? What's sort of the? I think there's like a, a gentle, like a, a, a spritzing of uh, of atmospheric rain coming down. There's there's lightning in the distance. It is dark and gloomy because it is Barovia. Somewhere there are wolves howling, uh, and there's a suit <laughs> of animated so armor so. trying to trying Beautiful. to murder you. Excellent to um, hear that there's lightning in the yeah. distance. So I would say that the, uh, the it does not look like the battlements are kind of they're desolate. There's no no other living creature in sight here. This is not like a an occupied castle where there'd be guards and people coming and going. It's just you 
and the suit of armor and the night sky. <laughs> Excellent. So, um, beautiful. Uh, centered on Strahd's animated suit of armor, uh, mm -hmm. you see above the animated suit of armor a uh, large cumulonimbus cloud appear. It just sort of like mm. puffs he's out. He's really almost sad. Like a heated marshmallow. <laughs> Uh, mm -hmm. above Strahd's animated armor, and you see it kind of take on the power of that lightning that you said was in the distance there, the rain, as it sort of pulls the energy in from those. And uh, we're going to go ahead and cast down, as Elevor has called lightning, we're going to cast down 4d10 uh, lightning damage on... That there I mean, do animated. I, do, does armor. does the thing have a chance to Let not me get see. hit by lightning? It looks like we've got a dex save of sixteen. All right. Uh, How nimble I'll is tell this you, giant? Not. Armor. I mean, it's not. It's not. It's 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 not its specialty, but you know, it's got a chance. I have rolled a nineteen. All right. Wow. So the suit of armor basically like you do still clatters. get hit. You just get half yeah. the damage. And, and it will take some lightning damage. All right, so we'll roll 4d10. 4d10. And as you'll remember, this is the uh, spell that we killed the tree with. So oh, as yeah. long tree as killer. I remain mm -hmm. concentrated, um, I oh, can continue. Oh, it's just going to pump lightning into his area? Ah, only nine points of damage. I was hoping for more. I also have bad news for you. Um, unlike your metal friend Crucible, um, no. Strahd's animated armor is... Uh, immune to lightning damage you're kidding oh! me that's so heartbreaking oh no tony you've broken my heart so oh, no, Micah, can that's tell. my favorite part of you <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. so elevore can tell that that yeah. didn't do a thing i i will say that like it, it dodges out of the way your lightning kind of crackles at it and it looks completely unfazed I think Elavor says a bad word. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah, fiddlesticks. And then, and then the cloud <laughs> just uh, sort of goes back into itself and just whoo, disappears. Yep. Wow! All, All right. right, lovely. Sorry, I told everybody Broldish. not to sort of run up on the animated. Art. Well, right. I mean, let me just say, you would have been real discouraged if you did lightning damage that only hit your friends. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. Armor. You would have been like, it's worth it. True. And then, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm noticing a pony charging. Yeah, at, well, uh, I, can't, sort of armor. I, I just, I couldn't move them both at the same time very easily. So I'm just, uh, so basically, uh, that makes Brildish mad. So she and Pony charge in, and as we go past Lena, Brildish yells, strawberries taste like sunlight and joy! And... <laughs> <laughs> And this thing does not look like Sunlight and Joy. So she's just going to come straight at it on the back of Pony, you know, sacred axe raised, shouting, inhale his name, die, strawberry ding dong. And uh, that's, it, uh, I don't think Kayla appreciates me calling it a strawberry ding dong <laughs> because I, I know only, I don't. I only rolled a 12. So that's, that's attack number one. Let's, let's switch over to the red die. Mm -hmm. Let's try that. The strawberry die. That is much better. That is 26. 26 will hit. A animated suit of armor. Hurrah. All right. And that is... Four, five, six slashing damage. All right. It's not that much, but also okay. uh, I'm making sure that it's not going to get up in Lena's yeah. face on the next turn, which is very important. And that's it. Do you get more attacks? For some reason, I thought there were more attacks coming. Just, um, just two. Just the two? All right. Imra is next, followed by the animated armor. Everybody else get ready. Okay. Well, I don't think I want to get up close to it. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do my longbow thing again. First is a 15, which I don't believe hits. Second is a 13, which I know doesn't hit. Um... You know, I think I'm I'm just so distracted by seeing that bolt of lightning come down and do nothing to oh, that suit of armor. That hurt. That hurt. I'm just like I'm just a little yeah. bit off. Um and I don't have any bonus actions really. So I guess that is my uneventful turn. Sorry, y'all. All right. 
Uh, well, the suit of animated armor has been uh, engaged by Braldish. The suit kind of reaches behind its back and pulls out a rather uh, large-looking greatsword and uh, is going to attempt to take some it's hacks. okay. Yeah. I, um, is going to attack you uh, multiple times, Braldish. Let's see here. Yikes. First attack. Uh, critical fail! Yay! Slips on the battleman. Second attack is a 17. I don't think it's a Braldish. It does not. Clang, clang as the sword. Uh, clang, ra- clang, uh, clang uh, goes the armor. <laughs> the ding dong. As it tries to, as its bl- uh, blade attacks bounce off of your axe or shield or horse. One of those things. Uh, uh, shield, <laughs> please, or axe. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Excellent choice, madam. Um, <laughs> Lena. Okay, hey, Lena, um, seeing Come on in, that the water's fine. And, and enraged <laughs> is going to run up, probably like jump off of the uh, wall next to okay. them, do like a little wall running. The wall just, is very slippery. It seems very dangerous, but you do I it. I mean, uh, um, she, she, she was born amidst the mm, rain and the grossness yes. of Barovia. It's yep. New Pre existing condition. She's Got going it. to uh, unsheath her sun sword. Uh, that is an 18 to hit. Uh, an 18 does not hit. Oh, I'll tell you, the armor class of this thing is substantial because mm-hmm. it's made of armor. Oh, well, we know it's higher than right. 18. Um, so then... Uh, so but that, 22 or less. But that was merely a distraction, you see. Mm. <laughs> she also pulls <laughs> out her, her, her non-magical sor- short sword. Um, I thought you had two magical swords. Oh, that's right. I do have two magical yeah, swords. Yeah, one's a sun sword mm-hmm. and one's a just a... I forget what it is. Does it also talk? Yes, it does also talk. Why are there talk, so many things weirdly. that talk? Do they, talk this adventure? they talk to each other <laughs> with emotions. Mm. Um, hey, sword, how's it going? Okay, sword. <laughs> um, so that is a twenty-one to hit. Twenty-one will hit. Nice. Um, okay, and that's so the AC is somewhere between nineteen and twenty-one. Mm-hmm. Inclusive. Uh, okay, that is. So the sword blow itself is six damage, but the sneak attack, uh, that's 24 damage. Wow! Nice. Oh, All right, I will tell you that the suit of armor is looking tarnished. Does not seem like it has too much more uh, time left in this realm. Ha ha, All set, my, Lena? my ruse worked. <laughs> <laughs> what well, your ruse was that it was missing you hit it with swords oh well, okay yes, you, mi- you missed the first one and then it gets mm. confused and then you get the second yeah. one yeah the second talking sword um is mm. where you get them uh samus uh samus who readied its turn yep. is going it to happens. uh sort of say hey you know what mm-hmm. actually I just really don't like this thing and is going to uh, rush forward um, sort of in the general area of Broldish and Mm -hmm. go for a simple, um, which one is it that gives me that claw attack? Yeah. Uh, So let's do my macro here. Attack of 17. 17 does not hit. All right. Um, or, you know, it hits, but there's no effect to the mighty animated armor. I think Sama sort of like, sort of pulls back her paw and just goes, mm-hmm. sort of shakes her paw. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Was there like a squee sound? Is like, yeah. I like, <sighs> hate that sound. Awful. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's Crucible. Elevar next. One, two, three, four, five. I can't quite close, but I will line up. I would say it's getting crowded there yeah, on the battlement too, so your ability to all be murmur, closed. With. The the glyph on their forehead will start to glow, and they'll extend a hand and attempt to zap the suit of armor with a sacred flame. Please make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, Fifteen. How many? 15. 15. Not enough. You needed a 16. Yeah. Woo. Well, math. I will um, increase that with my... Uh, so I'll roll some damage and then I'll roll my Blessed Strike on top of that to do a little extra damage. Who doesn't like a little, a little extra, extra damage? Who doesn't like a little extra damage? Uh, that will be another D8. 
So all in, that is 20 damage. Mm. Is it of a particular type? Uh, I believe it's radiant. Ouchie. Okay. Does... I think mainly you, you don't want to do lightning just for, for fun. <laughs> don't ah. do radiant uh, or radiant damage. Yes, it's uh, all okay. radiant all the time. And let's suit see. of armor is not looking great. Bonus action. I may heal myself. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Don't worry about it. I'm good. Question is if the suit of armor is going to get another turn or not. Uh, I vote yeah, no. Either that's way. the question, my right? vote counts. Oh. It does not. Elevor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I think because the problem is that the suit of armor is very far away now. Mm. Uh, so Elevor, you do have your ranged fire attack, though, right? You could- yeah, I mean, we don't, I it might be immune to fire too. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, you know what? Let's try it. Let's see what happens. Mm-hmm. Um, Elevor is feeling a little impotent at the moment, <laughs> but is going to go ahead and try uh, to create a bonfire on the face of the uh, armor. Well, I mean, there is kind of an like a big available space there. Um, <laughs> Ooh, creepy! Uh, yeah. You will need to do a 16 dex save, except I don't want you to actually do that. I want you to fail okay. <laughs> All right. Just like Rolling, the armor only has a plus one to dex. I rolled a 15, which I think you just said 16. Yay! It is just like last time. Exactly like last time. So High five. a bonfire appears on the shoulders of the uh, uh, suit of armor. And six points of fire damage. I will tell you, Chris no. uh, Elevor, I'm not doing <laughs> this on purpose. This is how the character sheet is written. He resists fire damage. Not immune, just resists. Okay, well, that's something. Oh, okay. That's something. Okay. So three, three points damage. of fire. <laughs> yeah, three fire damage. That is also super and- good to know because I had some fire spells lined up that I will put away. <laughs> <laughs> this thing uh, is immune or resistant to a variety of states and uh, conditions and Iowa. <laughs> For example, Dan, Dan can't name any other states. Oh, um, <laughs> That's fishing. the only one. <laughs> All right, uh, a Dakota. <laughs> yeah. uh, one of several a Dakotas. Dakota. Oh wait, yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, I told you people about how people in Nebraska really look down on people from Iowa, and I think it's I think it's real charming. <laughs> it's charming. <laughs> That's a good word. It's just a, it's like adorable that those people, the people in Nebraska, look down on something. Good for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. In oh. Hela's name, die, foul, ding dong. See, I waited until after I rolled to say it that time. And let's see. Did I get enough? Uh, 24. 24 will hit. Which I think we've established that hits. Yeah, so that was not exciting news. Seven points of slashing damage. All right. Second attack does not hit. All right. Imra. Take it down. Okay. You can do it. Um, I mean, why change <gasps> now? Uh, first arrow. Oh. Oh, wow. Uh, Immer got like. <laughs> that doesn't. Those, like, those aren't good wells. Like, <laughs> super distracted. It went. It went so wide. Like, nobody even knew she fired <laughs> that <laughs> shot. We're all just looking like, are you going to take your turn? It, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but she made up for the second one. It was a 24 to Ooh, hit. All right. Right, um, in, right in the fire. Right in the fire. Rolled max damage. That's yeah. 12 points of damage yeah. plus you go right in the fire the big opening at the top of the torso the ar- the arrow bounces around inside a bunch doing extra damage ding, before ding, ding, it ding, falls ding. out yeah 12 nice arrow, arrow damage 12 arrow damage plus um the 1d6 of damage for the the hunter's mark Sorry. at the first level so that's another uh three on top of that mm-hmm. All right. So, uh, the suit of armor is still standing. Mm. Yeah, I wish it hit twice, but uh, take what you can get, I guess. Me too. Uh, suit of armor's turn. Micah, does the uh, fire do anything on the armor's no. turn? No. Um, okay. Yeah. It just looks spooky as I'll get out. I mean, it looks pretty uh, cool. The suit of armor is going to slash with its greatsword in the direction <gasps> of Lena. I'm so sorry. I'm going to mm. use protection. I do need oh. to oh. clarify. I thought that 
since it was a cantrip, it wouldn't have like lasting power. But it says any creature in the bonfire space when you cast the spell must succeed on a dexterity saving throw or take the fire damage. A creature must also make the saving throw when it moves into the bonfire space for the first time or on a turn. Oh, excuse me, for the first time on a turn or ends its turn there. So okay. if it ends its turn in that space where I created the bonfire. I guess mm -hmm. it's a lasting bonfire because, yeah, concentration. I may have it moved then. Okay. Uh, so I have attacked Lena and Brolish has done something. Yes, uh, I am going to interpose my shield in between it and Lena, so it now has a disadvantage on the attack roll. All right, Roland taking the lower. Ooh, I rolled a 16 and a 19. Uh-oh. Uh, my uh -oh. attack is... I'm assuming it's more than a two. Six. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. For... Yeah. All right, one, it's, it, you know, it. the shield goes up, but the, the blade slices past the shield and gets you, Alina. I tried, um, thank you. No, you Lena, are going no. to take... 10 slashing damage and 3 lightning damage as the blade crackles with lightning. No, that's okay. I think it's better than it would have been otherwise as it's like It's going to try and do that again. Oh no. <laughs> uh, I, I rolled a 16 again, once. which conveniently I know hits you. Um so you're going to take another 13 total damage mm. of combined slashing and lightning damage. <laughs> and uh the uh the armor will celebrate by sidestepping out of the fire. <laughs> Do a little dance. <laughs> yeah, side shuffle. Um, Lena, it is your turn. The armor has, um, I mean, I guess actually it's still engaged with you, so. Um, yep. Yeah. Um, okay, well, two can play at that game. Um. I mean, I think technically I was actually where Brildish was, mm -hmm. was where uh, Yeah, Samus I don't is, think, so. you know what, I'm realizing there's probably no way uh, Micah, give me a quick fire roll, because I don't think it can get out of the fire at, oh. without disengaging from the group and provoking, which I don't think it wants to do. I will gladly. So, are you sure? You. Are you yeah. sure it doesn't want to provoke? It does not it doesn't mind a little it fire. Rather, it would rather take a little bit more fire damage than provoke. How about four damage? It will take it's that four eight, damage. But I'm cutting it to four because of resistance. Thank you. You're very well. Lena, you might be able to kill the... Uh, the armor in one hit. Nice. Well, um, it's going to take thirteen damage, followed by did you did you hit nine damage? Yes, I got a twenty six. Okay, you didn't want to share twenty six with the group. It's a pretty good number. Um, all right, <laughs> Lena, you strike out with your magic sword, and the armor clatters over the battlements, still on fire, down into the rain where it hits the the uh, the. the the uh, courtyard below, it just scatters <laughs> into a, a a dozen pieces. Nice. You've I had thought. I had Strata thought about animated armor. I had thought about trying to like shove it over the edge just to just take it out. But since we just let what's her name like scramble down yeah, the wall yeah. and yeah. run away, I was worried it would survive the fall and then hurt her. So that's mm. why I didn't do that. So, you so be as careful, the lightning so illuminates. Does yeah. it look like it's like clattering back into place and reforming, no, and, or does it, looks, it look like it's okay? It good. looks just like somebody has j dropped a bunch of cookware over the wall. Hey, let be <laughs> praised. Uh, Crucible's gonna uh, walk up and say, "Lena, are, are you okay? Do you need he any healing?" I need healing a lot. Yes, thank right, you. I got you covered. <laughs> yes, thank you. All right, as you heal up, um, we could assume that yeah. probably twenty-four it's... hit points back, Lena. Wow. wow, that'll do it. Third but I think level I'm going to be wounds. better than... Yeah, um, let us just remind good. you, you're on the kind of mid-levels of Castle Ravenloft. You know that there is a room with a roaring fireplace and... Uh, well, oh no, I guess you put it out. At least with nice comfy mm -hmm. chairs nearby if you wanted to take a short rest uh, to do some healing. We are now at the perpetual question of where do you want to go? You are really at kind of a crossroads in the castle where there are I thought many... we are the battlements. Uh -huh. Many stairs, and and you have a not entirely uh, like visited every place on this level. Yeah, we B, haven't even visited stairs going every place off of the uh, off of the study. And I, there was at least yeah. two more doors I wanted yeah. to check out. This there, is the so. castle of secret Love. doors, so I do want yes. to check out here where we are for secret doors. Outside, nobody puts secret doors. Outside. Hey, yeah, I feel unsafe. like that's something that a dungeon master says when you don't want us to find a secret door. Mm -hmm. I yeah. want you to find secret doors. Uh, no, I don't. Do you? I will, I will help. Excellent. I, All right, awesome. you're doing a quick search for secret doors. Yes, I will roll perception, but apparently I get a, um, I forget what it's called because it's been so long. Advantage. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, how about I a see where your mind went. Very different. 
Brildish is, is sitting on top of that pony. That was a classic pessimist optimist reading of that. Just just pointing different. Uh, look over I there, Elavor. Look over there. Check over there. Oh, how about over there? Did you look over there? I got a so 23 helpful. on perception. Yeah. 23 on perception? Yeah. Uh, you are looking around the battlements and you feel uh, confident that there is not uh, anything. Uh, there are no secret passageways along this a uh, wall that lead into Castle Ravenloft. How's that? Well, Elevor says not to be a bearer of boring news, but there how don't like, to be any secret doors out here. How you like them straw apples? Um, <laughs> is is that a ladder? Is there is there a ladder to go down? Did we make her climb down like a spider? Yeah, when there was in fact a ladder. Right there is not. There does not. I mean, I will oh. tell you from a castle design point of view. It would be bad to just have a like a ladder that went up your wall. <laughs> um, so they're just not so, siege attackers. Please, this way, yeah. single file. So, what is this feature right here? You head down the battlements and you find Lena a ladder, <laughs> but but Going it's a ladder up. that goes up. Uh, mm. Yeah, there is. Oh, it's a ladder uh, to map six. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is why I don't share tech with you people. Uh, there is uh, this this part of the uh, battlements is covered, and there's basically like so there, there's like a, a a platform, a raised platform above this with a ladder uh, above that. I can show you map six. All all that's on it is a, a little platform and a ladder that goes down. <laughs> okay, that part of the map that you're on. Do, you, okay. do people do we, need to see that want, to feel better about we, themselves? Do we live it. there now? <laughs> so, is that uh, covered? It's covered? Uh, is sorry. Is the place above it covered? No. Yeah. Is the is the like platform covered? Okay. Well, n nonetheless, it's a little hidey hole. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Should we go? Okay. Okay. Everyone, I feel like, okay, I feel everyone, like you want to see this. If map. we get separated, if we get separated, we meet in in the in in the little cubby. <laughs> gotcha. Map, mm -hmm. Meet in map six. <laughs> um, yes. <laughs> okay. So I'd like to point out that. We do have a lot of secret doors, um, a lot of secret passageways nobody, to explore. Asked for this. We um, were searching for lore, um, but we were also trying to figure out what Strahd's password was because we found a His laptop. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is vault. His vault. Oh, the, right. the weird tiny right. castle. Yeah. yeah, Dan Dan's being like, ah, 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 I don't remember how this game works. <laughs> <laughs> Dungeons and Dragons for nerds. <laughs> True. So we were trying to figure out um because we we know that we need the the passphrase to get into the vault. Yeah. Um but we don't know what it is, but we want to stick it to him because we know that there's like a shield in there. We know there's stuff in there beyond just uh, riches. Yeah. Like yes. there's stuff that he might Magical want. Items. So we're, yeah. we kind of want to, yep. and stuff that might be useful Mementos. to our quest. Yeah. I, I think that now that we've seen our charge off scampering into the night, we can maybe mm -hmm. double back and keep investigating doors secret and otherwise on this floor. <laughs> okay. Even the so boring doors that we can see with our eyes. You would like easily. to explore more of this floor. Yeah, um, I do I do think we should go back to the study and, and you do have choices, I believe. I think mm -hmm. you have found, obviously, uh there's this main kind of central stairway uh to Castle Ravenloft in it's one of the huge towers itself with a giant spiral staircase with no railing with a giant chasm in the middle that goes up and down. Also, just to remind you, I showed you art of this before. The heart. Giant crystalline heart. pumping yeah. heart at the top of the tower. Uh, Super cool. You have, you, and you have found other stairs that lead uh, down uh, as mm -hmm. well. Uh, but yeah, so why don't we say, do you want to head back to that? The, the I forget if we called it a study or a library where you um, yeah. uh, earlier transported. And then engage in the fast, fun and fascinating game of doors. which door do we doors. want to open first? Doors. North. I'm down for doors. Yep. Do right, we want doors. to take a short rest here, though, so yeah, that yeah, 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 Lena yeah. and anybody else can use You take a dice. short rest. Okay. Yes. I, sometimes I move us along. Mm -hmm. um, Does anyone need I'm gonna ask you. A healing? We can do it in chat, but... I mean, if we're taking no, a I'm short good. rest, we can just use hit dice, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Uh, we'll assume that for now you're being careful to open doors until you tell me that you're not. Um, uh, feel free to just roll perception checks. I'll tell you if you hear anything at a door or not. Um, I think we already did with this one and heard nothing. Right. But I'm going to do it roll. again because this is the second time that I've been in this room. Or third or fourth, I'm not sure. Things change. Doors can change. Mm -hmm. Eleven. Wait, doors you can hear change? Nothing. Well, the things behind them can change. So this is like a moving... No, but things behind, <laughs> other things move in the world. Doors the, move in, too. The inhabitants of Strahd's Castle Ravenloft are ambulatory. And... Someone. Ambulances? <laughs> Braldush, with an 11, you hear <laughs> nothing. All right, after the short rest time is over, I yeah. say, should I, should I open it? Should I... Just try to open the open door. sesame. Open it. Right. I will open the door. All right. There is a spiral staircase beyond. Son of a it, it stairs. Is, it is stairs. Stairs I think these all are, the way down. Well, I don't know. I if think that's these true. are down <laughs> stairs. I think these are stairs that go down. They look down. Mm -hmm. Um <laughs> stairs. Most stairs fuck up. <laughs> fuck up all stairs all right other door at this i keep doom scrolling says the stairs <laughs> um, at, <laughs> i'm at this door to the south and i rolled an 11 but androdite got a 25 all right um y you know i think androdite smells something that smells like decaying food hmm so I guess we see her like sniffing. Intensely. Yeah, like a weird. I'm gonna say Andrew Dyke gets a full on kind of like scrunch, sweet but ugh. I you know even I mean and I don't know how picky Andrew Dyke is, but this is this is like Andrew Dyke is like mm, no. Yeah, you know? Andrew Dyke <laughs> keeps licking the air, but clearly not liking it. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. She she doesn't seem to hear anything, but she definitely smells something. Do we want to... Let's go. Let's do, let's okay. Sneakily yeah. open. Sneakily open. Yeah, sort of just like a... Mm. Sneakily yeah. and carefully. Uh, all right. Um, I'm going to do the thing where I show you that, and then I describe it. <laughs> it's a 31 sneakiness. <laughs> all right. Very sneakily open. Did the door so open? I'm not sure. As you open this door, dust kind of assaults your lungs. Seems like <laughs> no one has been in here in a very long time. Uh, the sweet yet pungent smell of decay kind of rolls out after the dust that must have been with Androdite smells. Uh, in the center of this rather large room is a oaken, long oaken table. Um, there's just dust on everything. Uh, the table has been set with fine china and silverware. Uh, again, but you can like see the dust from from where you're standing on top of everything. Um, the uh, there is in the center of the table a large tiered cake, but it's kind of like lopsided. Um, it uh, the frosting has. Is green does not seem like that was its original color. Is this like a um, great expectations sort of dealio going on here? Yeah. <laughs> I I don't know what that is. Just say yes. Um <laughs> there are cobwebs hanging yep. uh down the sides of the cake. Um a single doll um kind of figurine of a well dressed woman adorns the crest of the cake. It's not as creepy as I was thinking and, at first, yeah. but it's still a little creepy. I, I I was right there with you. I was like, more no. dolls? dolls? Oh, no, no, no. This That belongs there. Mm -hmm. And there are several doors off of this uh, uh, filthy room uh, to the south, to the east, and to the west. I will say the Can... doors to the south... Oh, no, I'm sorry. They're not doors. The, the thing on the south is a window. Um, suggesting oh, okay, the south, southern wall Can is we an see exterior what... wall of Ravenloft. Can we see what these things are sort of in the artwork? You, you might want to move into the room and I can Okay, is it is it lit? Uh I so would say lit. no. I guess All right. can't I feel like somebody was Oh wait, d d d d we have like a sun sword. <laughs> yeah, yeah, carrying, yeah. She, so Yeah, she like unsheath right. so so she like unsheaths her her sun sword and walks in. Um, right. Because there are cobwebs, Lena looks up to see if there happen to be any giant spiders. <laughs> Above you Bro, is a not. menacing wrought iron chandelier that is not a spider. <gasps> cool. We're I confident mean, that that's the last not a spider. time that we found a cool chandelier, we turned it into fun mm -hmm. wedding accessories. So. That's true. Yeah. 
Uh, as you move into the room and your sun sword uh, kind of illuminates things, uh, you can see that there are some kind of dust and cobweb covered uh, musical instruments on the far side of the chamber. Uh, in one corner, Did you say there's musical instruments? a filthy lute, <laughs> sure and in the other corner, filthy there is a uh, a tall harp shrouded in cobwebs. Oh my god. Oh, are we in for a concert? I got a skipper is, is skipper it... over to the harp. Be careful, harp. be careful. They might be cursed. Be careful. Elevor the sniffs the harp. <laughs> is six and a half feet tall. It's fashioned of dark stained wood carved with images of hearts and roses. I believe Aww. either this is a like, typo or like anatomical says, hearts or like well, no love actually hearts. it says H A R T S. Okay, oh. so it's deer. So oh, like deer. deer. Yes. Yeah, like Unless deer. it's a Stags. typo it was supposed to be H E A R T S. Um <laughs> either works. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, just picturing Strahd playing a So it's a, a harp nature harp? hearts. <laughs> yeah. But I, I it doesn't I mean yeah, I don't I don't we don't I mean, know if like, uh uh, it was a wedding feast of some sort, yeah. so a, a, like a a aw heart would make sense. Yeah, yeah. Well, the, um, but it's Barovia, awesome. so a ugh, so yeah, maybe heart not. also yeah. kind of makes <laughs> sense. It's true. Um, Tony, what with my yeah. my sort of uh, plus three performance? <laughs> Do you want to make a performance check? I on really want to play the harp. All right, <laughs> but first, Elavor. Given his, uh, you may or may not know, love of of instruments and appreciation mm-hmm. for instruments, it's going to kind of take the time to remove the cobwebs from it, sort of, you know, wipe it down, blow the dust away, all that kind of thing. Brildish is watching just wrapped, like so, just so excited right now. Be careful. It might be cursed. You may want to make sure it's not cursed before you start playing it. I gave it a good sniff and it's just really, I'm not getting that vibe. Um, Elavor sort of poisons <laughs> you roll himself an in place. Check. Poisons himself? <laughs> no, poisons oh, himself sorry. in place. Poisons. As you do with a harp. And, I mean, well, uh, let's see what happens. <laughs> um, I'm going to use my inspiration. You could roll first. <laughs> I did roll. <laughs> oh. um, Elevor rolls a 17 performance on this harp. All right. Bling. Ding, 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 uh, Elevore <laughs> puts on a pretty good performance. Uh, it's so charming, honestly, that all of you are momentarily distracted by the fact that it perhaps is endangering all of you by making a loud noise. Here, it's just, like, like we've been quiet. Room. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, Elevore, it's, you know, it's it, the, uh, despite the things being a little uh, uh, ancient and, and derelict, it's, it's still reasonably in tune. Um, and so, yeah, you, you play a little, uh, a nice little performance. Um, Broldish applauds. And, and Pony, like, s- stamps his, his hoops in Yay. appreciation. Yay, just, see, what's um, that called? A little morale, a little morale mm-hmm, boost. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, that matters. It's important. As you're all just kind of standing around appreciating that, uh, a small uh, ghostly man oh, no. appears next to you, uh, uh, Elevar. Next to who? Me? Next to Elevar. Next to the harp player. A small... Like, just appears or walks through a wall and stands next to him? Uh, he's just there. Um, he is dressed, uh, this small little man is, is dressed, uh, like a, uh, like a jester or a fool. Uh, he has a hat with little jingling bells at the end of little, you know, the little pointed, uh, things. And he's Mm -hmm. garbed in kind of a, uh, a patchwork, uh, kind of, uh, colored, uh, outfit. Uh, you know, where his feet would be, it just kind of fades away, uh, into nothingness. Um. And he looks at you, Elevor, and says, "Hello there." Um. Okay, I'm trying to think of how. <laughs> Can we <laughs> all see this, or this. just Elevor? Oh yeah, all of you see a a, a little man. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to try to talk for Elevor, but I, I just want to. I sure think. Pearl okay, so I would freak out in this situation, but I really don't think Elevor would. Um, <laughs> hey man, hello, <laughs> hello, my friend. What do you Who think is... of my playing? Uh, yeah, we I'm... met a ghost once before. At least some of us did. I think I slept through that. Uh, you have met uh, a variety of people. Uh, the, the little little man says, I, I'm very impressed. Uh, lovely. Haven't heard anyone uh, pick up these old things in, uh, in quite some time. I, I appreciate that uh, ever so much. Ah, so you've, you've heard them before, or, or did you play them yourself? Oh, no. I, there were, I believe there were musicians here uh, some time ago. 
Hmm. But tell me, uh, why have you summoned me from beyond the grave? Sorry, summoned? Um, did I, I, oh, some, like playing the music summoned you? Indeed. Um, well, friend, I gotta tell you. Questions. I was sort of just, uh, as one does, uh, one plays music for one's friends when they're feeling a little down. We've been traipsing through this castle, uh, trying to combat a certain evil that we don't like to say out loud. And, looking for a certain uh, password. Yeah, looking for some stuff like a, a password that we need. And so we just took a break here. Um, I was really hoping to eat that cake, but it's not looking too great. And I, uh, yeah, just took a moment to, to sort of lighten the mood, if you will. Hey, I know that racket. Uh, he does kind of a thing where his, his head moves side to side in little bells. Um, <laughs> ah, see? You understand the delight. Yeah, you know, entertainer, entertainer. So uh, let me tell you. Um, you know, you seem like a swell guy. Uh, so in my crypt, oh, which is, not. you know, beneath the castle here, um, there's, you know, buried with me a treasure that, you know, I'd be happy to pass on to a fellow entertainer such as yourself. It seems worthy of a talent such as you. So, you know, just look for, uh, look for my grave and uh, help yourself. Could you tell me your name so I know what grave to look for? Oh, Elevus my apologies. Freak out like, Penelwick. <laughs> And he does like a kind of dramatic bow. Um, ah, uh, yes. Elevor is sort of patting his um, his cloak, looking. Ah, there it is. The parchment, Penelwick, like this. Uh, he says it again, slightly more enunciated. Penelwick. Ah, huh. excellent. One L. Mm. <laughs> and with that, he disappears. Oh. Mm. Uh, oh. That was <laughs> a, a thing. So. Apparently, we've got a crypt to look for. <laughs> a- add it Fun. to the to-do list. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Elevor looks for that other piece of parchment. That's <laughs> <the to-do list. laughs> Elevor, do you want to try playing the lute now, too? I was going <laughs> to say. Uh, I would be honored. And All right, Elevor... the lute's over in the other corner. Whoa, it's... whoa, okay. whoa, whoa. We're not looters. <laughs> um, speak we, for yourself. Okay, but but if Pedalway <laughs> comes back, we have to ask questions. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> What's yes. the password? All right, I don't have inspiration now, so I've got one go at this. I do, so let me know. All right, let's see what we get this time. Um, I'm gonna need that for sure. Okay. <laughs> Take my inspiration. All right, please. Tony, how does a 13 sound? You know, it's pretty good, but it seems like maybe you are not as uh, proficient on the loot. Or, you know, maybe this loot is... Uh, you're, trying to, you're trying to, like, find a reason for why it isn't so good. Uh, and, you know, as you're inspecting the loot, uh, you realize that this loot is actually a magic loot. It is a magical item known as Instrument of the Bards. And it actually even has a name. The name is Das Loot. <gasps> <laughs> That's no. my favorite 1980s loot movie. <laughs> oh my god! I wish we had a bard, but I know Tony doesn't. <laughs> we I should say if this. any of you can use this in any other thing. Otherwise, didn't, it's something didn't you meant? Didn't you all mention you knew a bard once? We did. We did. Elvor looks up close and he's like, "Ah, such beautiful designs on this loot, especially this unicorn." What is a bard? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> oh, wow. You've been to a bar, this place yes? Is awful. Yes, yes. It's We've nothing been to like several. That. It's sort of like <laughs> Rictavio, but more annoying. I believe Rictavio was a bard. So we're yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. The we comments could the loot stands. to Rictavio. <gasps> we so could, we should get you, the, the. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got to get it. An instrument of the Rictavio. bard is a wondrous item, an instrument made, made specifically to hone the powers of a bard. There are several varieties of it. Uh, they're named after different bard colleges of antiquity. Each instrument comes with a list of spells um, that can be cast while playing the act- the instrument as an action. I guess if you are a bard. Um, so the Dost Loot uh, allows the uh, operator to cast Animal Friendship, Protection from Fire, and Protection from Poison. What are the rules oh, on dual wow. classes? <laughs> you can take a level, take a level of bard. Yeah, you can take a level of bard. Um, I feel like that would be quite fitting. It fits for Elevor. He really yeah. does yeah. like instruments and stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. I might have to think about that. In any case, we're definitely taking the loot with us and we yes. can figure out what mm-hmm. to do with it. It is, it is, it is, at the very least, reasonable street value. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, 
right. Um, all right. Let me ask you the most important question of the hour. Which door next? Left. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. My left or your I'm not left. sure we should rush in. One does not simply also, walk through okay. door doors. For, do you want to do anything else? I, I would like nope. to check for secret doors. <laughs> okay. Good idea. Do you, yeah, I was going to say, also, I don't know if you've actually done anything in this room so much as I've yeah. described Gake and Elevore has played two, played two instruments. instruments. That's doing yeah. something. Okay, and so, so for, there's a treasure. for 16, a do I see anything on any of the other doors or walls? You are checking around and you do not see anything on any of the other doors or walls. How about a 21? What you no do find, um, okay, sorry, what you find, uh, Crucible, with your uh, heightened uh, magic eyes is a tiny little toy figurine. Um, there are dolls. I no. like I like how Jane and I both kind of did the same thing with her faces. Like, It's an action <laughs> figure. <laughs> is the retail value on the aftermarket is, it, yeah. is, is it astronomical is it, yeah. if it's mint then we got we can talk about it, it. it is filthy because it has the, been left on the ground i mean uh, it's, it's, like mint, a, it's, green. it's like flavor. a little a little a little like tuxedoed man oh so ah, it fell off okay, of the cake, the cake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do, it's probably worth keeping you should right? put it back you want me to put, no, it you back? put it back they should be together mm -hmm. yeah uh, right. I will put it back. It, does it, put does it, it look yeah. like Crucible. Strahd? Does it look like Strahd? Mm. It does have kind of a like a you know widow's peak kind of hairline going. I on. don't think we put it back. <laughs> uh, uh, the cake, the cake. Just as you are looking at the cake, it, I want to be very clear here: the shades of green on the cake are very inconsistent. Uh. So uh, not mint. Crystal will saying. pocket the tuxedoed figure and not put it on okay. the oh. mm -hmm. uh, are there Sorry. We were Sorry. heavily divided there, and <laughs> Lena's point about not returning Strahd to the cake is carried. Crucible weight. found it. You get to you get to do it. Ultimately, what, yeah. I also want Crucible I don't have to, to have a friend it, with yeah. <laughs> with them at all. <laughs> like if they want to have Who, a friend with Who's turn does the little mm. man go? Is my on? move throwing a tuxedo figure at a guy? Is this that is my like move? a Lego <laughs> minifig size thing? I missed that. It it's is not. A, it is not a ventriloquist. Yes, it's yeah, it's oh. It looks like Strahd. Not so. Not it's a, like on the coins. Uh, yeah, like a little, I guess we saw his face. Too, a little like wax straw, right? A little. Yeah, it's yeah. like one of the. It's a. It's a groom it's a figurine it's a on, a cake, on yes. a wedding cake. Is it a generic groom or is it like got it's a, a straw? It, it's a straw. It's, 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 okay. it's a straw. It's. I mean, it's not the best rendition of him. It may have been him when he was not in a vampire state, but you know. Yeah. Are there any like labels on the place settings? Like, do we know anything mm. about the people who are supposed Ooh, to seating right? chart? Here? Seating there chart. There does not seem to be a seating chart. It looks like I mean, it would have been a pretty small gathering here. Uh, gotcha. There's, I think, there's probably only seats uh, for maybe a dozen people in here. Gotcha. Intimate I will know. It's, I will say that I think that we know what is through the one doorway. Um, because we were told that it's a gross bathroom. <laughs> Unless the bathroom is small and there's another room That's to That's very itself. true. That's very true. But just like bat it's down the hatches because we might have some strange plumbing. So we know that this room has been disused for a long time, but is there any way to know how long a long time is? Is it like... Right. Good question. Centuries? Wow. Or is this... As, is an, it like as an archaeologist. <laughs> <Carly Baker. laughs> yes. How hard is mm -hmm. the cake? Is the cake like calcified? Well, do you is want to it... take a cross section of the cake? Do Dr. cakes calcify? Well, I can determine the original purpose of this. <laughs> that, that skill has pretty much never been useful. No. <laughs> this castle was originally intended to be a castle. Mm. <laughs> Uh, I've learned yeah. so much. I, I can determine the monetary value of art objects more than a century old. Would you say this cake topper is more than a century old? <laughs> yes. How okay. much is it worth? Not much. <laughs> okay. <laughs> How old is it? Uh, you know, I'm going to tell you, you know, you, you think that this is, uh, the, the, it's made of wood and it's gotten all dried and weird. Uh, you think it's 400 years old, give or take. Wow. Okay. I want to I want to pick up the uh the lady one and look at it. Okay. Is it like does it look like Arena? Sure does Koliana? a little bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. People always I'm making dolls of her. It's so weird. It. <laughs> yep. 
Crucible pocketed that other one. I'm keeping this one just All in right. case. Just in Actually, case. it's going in one of Pony's saddlebags for him to remember. <laughs> okay. I just said oh. in, my, in my head... <laughs> we we like like three nights from now we find Aragal has been like he's got the two figures and he's just doing like playing these things. <laughs> I don't know I don't know why you should not he's let him go through guy. stuff so much yes he is mm -hmm. yeah yeah um, um, do we want to yeah. listen at this door that is either a bathroom or another room yeah come and knock on my door. isn't that every doorway <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Any room can uh, be a bathroom. It is quiet, uh, uh, Lena. Okay. Uh, shall we sneakily open it? Let's sure. Open it very sneakily. All right. Uh, you are looking at some kind of bathing chamber. Yeah. Uh, there is. Oh no. <laughs> hey, you chose to go in here, people. Um, I don't like the I color of that bath water. <laughs> yeah. Well. Uh, there are red satin curtains hanging in archways uh, on two south ends of this wall. The room is uh, dark and unlit, but as your sun sword swings around, uh, you see in the center of the chamber a large, ornate iron tub with clawed feet. The tub is full of blood. Okay. My yeah. God, this is going to be a bloodbath! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I think we made the right call getting that young woman out of here. You were right. Uh -huh. <laughs> we, we were right to get her out of here. It could be cranberry juice. It's, good for, it's good for the skin. Uh, I know, I know, I know, I, I know that she was spelled, but come on. <laughs> <laughs> she did say she didn't go in the bathroom. As you are looking in at this site, Lena, uh -oh. a, a blood-drenched so nice. creature explodes out of the tub Sounds and horrible. attaches itself to the ceiling, cackling maniacally. <laughs> oh, no. Blood room. pours out of its pale flesh, bony limbs, and stringy hair as it scuttles across the ceiling in your direction. Ugh. We'll pick up here next time. <laughs> oh, it's like a it's like Have they made a new friend? Will they no. regret ever going mm. into this yes. place? Yes. Should they take one slice of the wedding cake and put it in the freezer for next year? For answers. Absolutely not. <laughs> to questions such as these. I just answered them. <laughs> Tune in next time. Total party kill. <laughs>